Hi guys, my name is Caitlin Wagner and I am jumping on here today to teach you guys a little something that I picked up um, about a year ago that has really changed my skincare routine and it's a little product that I found on Amazon called The Cure and it is a chemical exfoliant um, and so what a chemical exfoliant is, is basically it just uses chemical properties um, such as enzymes and things like that to break down your dead skin barrier um, as, you know, kind of in contrast to a physical exfoliator, which has um, like physical beads or scrubbies or something like that to get off your dead skin. Anyway, um, skincare is super important to me because I really struggled with my skin for a super long time um, and was actually able to get on Accutane um, probably about five years ago and it really, really helped. But then my skin became really dry and I just didn't know anything about proper skincare and the um, importance of exfoliation. And so, um, just a quick snippet on why exfoliating is important. Um, our skin is constantly renewing all the time and regenerating, especially our faces, um, because we are putting more products on them, especially as women. Um, we are washing them and breaking them down with different cleansers and toners and all that stuff that if our top layer of our dead skin um, doesn't have a chance to really kind of slough off and letting that new layer of skin cells um, breathe, that's when we can get um, clogged pores, acne, because our makeup and our oil is trapped underneath that layer. Um, you might be going through your products really quickly, your moisturizers, um, just because that top layer of dead skin is kind of soaking it all up and you're really not getting the full benefit from it. So um, I'm going to show you guys how this stuff works. Um, you can get it on Amazon. It's gained a lot of popularity. It is a Japanese skincare product. If you know anything about Asia and skincare, they are like above their time. You know, all of us are just trying to catch up with Asia and their skincare. Um, it is so good. So you can get this on Amazon. It's gone up in price by like $13 since I got it last year because it's become so popular. Um, so last time I checked, I think this was $39. Somebody let me know if you find it cheaper. Um, but this lasts me a long time. If you're exfoliating with this twice a week, it'll probably last you, uh, I would say close to a year. So that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's, it's this clear substance and I do about three or so pumps and you can see there it is. And I start applying it kind of like a mask. I'm not really rubbing into my skin at this point. Um, I'm just evenly applying it a little bit down my neck and I actually put it on my lips too because our lips, at least my lips are super dry and constantly uh, shedding as well because they're moist all the time. Um, and so I'm just applying it like that evenly and then I wait like 30 seconds and um, that gives the properties in the exfoliator to kind of react with our skin um, and start breaking them down. So um, I found this is actually a lot more gentle than a lot of physical exfoliants. I know the words chemical sound really like um, nerve wracking, I guess, to put chemicals on our face, but I found this is a lot more gentle than um, some of the other things I was doing. And yeah, it's worked for me. So um, I'm gonna start rubbing like this and I'm gonna get really close so you guys can start seeing. You see all of those beads on my skin? So that's actually dead skin <laughs> coming off. <laughs> um, and so at first I thought it was a gimmick. It was just gonna be the mask or the, the exfoliator breaking down on itself and it was just beating it up on itself. And so I did several tests on my own to see if it was just the product. I did it on a latex glove. I did it on other areas of my body are not dry, um, 
and it is without a doubt your actual skin that is coming off in like beaded sheets right now. So just so you can see as I'm rubbing, holy cow, that is all really, really bad at dead skin. Look at that. And it's gross as it is, it is so necessary. Uh, now a part of my skincare routine. Um, I notice if I go a long time without doing this, my makeup starts not going on very smooth. Um, I can notice really patchiness and roughness. Um, and I might get a few more breakouts here and there. And so once I started doing this, I was like hooked and I have really loved this product. So ugh, feels like wet toilet paper or something. So now that we've kind of gotten that all started to rub off, I'm just gonna take, you can either splash your face with water in the sink. Um, I'm gonna take a microfiber towel and start wiping it off. Um, I love microfiber towels because you can take off a lot of your makeup with just water and this and they're antibacterial. So I'll link where I got both of these products, but it feels so soft immediately. And after that, I just noticed like my serums or my moisturizers, whatever a part of my skincare, whatever is a part of my skincare routine, um, just goes on so much better. I feel like my skin has the chance to actually soak it up um, rather than it just sitting on that top layer. So you can see it like I all of a sudden feel like I'm glowing in certain areas um, and I just love it. So after I'm done with that, I start with a clean face. Um, I use my cleanser and then I go in with this um, basically just so I have that kind of blank canvas and I, this isn't trying to eat through like a layer of makeup or something like that. It won't work as well. And I start with a dry face. So you don't want to pre-wet your face down or anything like that. It's really important that your face is completely dry before you put this on. And now that my skin is drying from the water, I go in with my favorite moisturizer and um, I just start putting that on. And then I'm good to go to do the rest of my makeup and everything else for the day. So. Um, you can do this day or night, um, doesn't really matter. Uh, the only thing I would say is to the day of, day after, be a little bit more cautious if you have super sensitive skin. Um, wear sunscreen. Um, I wouldn't go right into doing like a chemical peel or anything like that if you go to see an esthetician. Um, let them know that you are using this. But other than that, it's very gentle. You might notice a little bit of redness and that's to be expected um, because you just got all that dead skin off, so. Love it. Okay, my skin feels so soft. Um, if any of you guys try this and um, see for yourself, let me know how you like it. I love it and it has been like the perfect step to my routine. So twice a week is probably what most people would need and it's called the Cure Natural Aqua Gel. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.